A newly identified version of China's DZJ-0880 mm recoilless weapon has surfaced, showcasing an airburst-capable DNS-181 high-explosive fragmentation HE frag, round. This advancement is paired with a modular fire control unit, believed to be labeled DRU-181, which can reportedly be detached and reused across various disposable launchers. Notably, this fire control system features a digital screen and a full keypad, though analysts suggest it may prioritize input language functionality over advanced targeting tools. Designated officially as the Type 08 Individual Multipurpose Assault Weapon System, the DZJ-08 was developed to allow Chinese infantry to operate effectively in confined and urban environments without the risks posed by conventional backblast. Developed by Narinko from 2000 to 2008, the system replaced older Chinese RPGs like the PF-89A and Type 69, which proved hazardous in close quarters. The DZJ-08 fires using a Davis gun-inspired balanced launch mechanism, utilizing a rearward ejected plastic countermass to mitigate recoil and visual signature. This permits soldiers to safely engage from enclosed spaces such as bunkers or buildings. The launcher includes a fiberglass reinforced tube with a one-time use projectile inside. It sports a detachable optical sight, a front grip that folds for portability, and printed firing instructions for field use. Designed for right shoulder firing only, the launcher supports a daylight-only sight with 1x and 3x magnification but lacks night vision capabilities. The overall system weighs 7.6 kilograms and spans just under 1 meter in length. The core ammunition is an 80 by 428 mm rocket with a projectile weighing 1.65 kg and a muzzle velocity of 172 m per second. Its warhead contains thermite and magnesium, enabling it to breach 30 mm of armor at a head-on angle or up to 500 mm of reinforced concrete, exceeding prior models like the PF-89A. Its minimum and maximum ranges are 25 meters and 300 meters, respectively, making it ideal for infantry assaults on enemy positions, light armor, or structures. The DNS-181 warhead represents a leap in lethality. Unlike traditional impact munitions, this airburst shell detonates mid-flight, above or near its target. Its fuse is electronically programmed through the fire control system, allowing the munition to detonate with precise timing for maximum shrapnel dispersion. This technology enhances effectiveness against entrenched or concealed enemies, such as those behind walls, inside trenches, or beneath light cover. Its operational concept mirrors advanced Western airburst systems, but without requiring expensive guidance mechanisms. The DRU-181 fire control module enables this functionality by manually setting burst parameters. While it lacks an integrated laser rangefinder, its detachable and reusable design suggests a practical approach to balancing cost and tactical flexibility. The fire control unit is likely built for durability and simplicity in field conditions rather than high-tech sophistication. China's DZJ-08 supports a variety of specialized warheads, including the original multipurpose variant, the DZA-11 anti-personnel version with enhanced fragmentation effects, and the DZP-11 tandem charge anti-armor munition. All use sealed launch tubes and dual-stage fuses. These fuses first breach a structure and then initiate a secondary detonation to open a human-sized access point, ideal for urban combat. A total of 630 grams of explosive material is distributed between the two charges, with a precise 4 milliseconds delay to maximize effect on hardened surfaces. Internally, the weapon uses a fixed combustion chamber and a foamed plastic countermass that exits the rear upon firing. This balanced mechanism prevents excessive backblast, maintains internal consistency across environmental conditions, and extends storage life. Innovations in tail fin deployment ensure the projectile stabilizes correctly after launch, improving flight accuracy. The firing mechanism relies on a mechanical trigger that activates a primer and ignition tube. Combustion gases expel the projectile forward while ejecting the countermass backward. Pistons at both ends of the tube compress against deformation rings to contain the blast. This sealed system results in a lower sound profile, roughly equal to a 9mm pistol, 
and significantly reduces thermal and visual signatures, a distinct advantage over legacy RPGs. While still unguided, the addition of the Airburst DNS-181 and reusable DRU-181 component signals China's intent to improve battlefield precision and weapon versatility without adopting costly guided munitions. The updated DZJ-08 can still be mass-produced affordably, issued to regular infantry, and adapted for different combat scenarios. Its evolution reflects a broader PLA strategy of enhancing firepower at the squad level while maintaining logistics-friendly simplicity. Fiberglass reinforced plastic, FRP, remains the primary material for the launch tube, fabricated using a filament wound multilayer design. This construction provides heat resistance, mechanical durability, and a sealed firing environment. Reinforced aluminum alloy rings on either end absorb the stress from recoil pistons. Critical internal components such as the detonation system, trigger group, and frame reinforcements are made from hardened steel to withstand stress and impact. The launcher's polymer folding grip, handle, and outer casing reduce weight while ensuring robust handling in the field. The optical sight uses glass lenses within a plastic or aluminum body and folds away for protection. Internal gaskets help maintain an airtight seal, preserving the launcher's integrity across various climates. In conclusion, the DZJ-08 has undergone a meaningful update with the DNS-181 Airburst Warhead and DRU-181 Control Unit, offering a cost-effective yet tactically significant enhancement. This development allows for more versatile infantry applications without altering the platform's original low signature, single-use design, underscoring China's emphasis on modular, scalable battlefield solutions.